as a linebacker, but you're going to see coming from the right side, first of all, poor tackling. Next of all, the safeties, Chris, you see them? They, they're so focused on the backfield, Jesse, they never see really what they're trying to do with the football. You just saw Randy Shannon yelling at his outside linebacker, Romeo Davis. Romeo Davis was in charge of the dive on that play. He squeezed too far inside, lost his contain, and that's what allowed oh. Jonathan Dwyer to get outside, and he was off to the race. Romeo, Romeo, we're out there, Romeo. <laughs> Boy, and Anthony Not Reddick, in the right place on that play. <laughs> And Anthony Reddick was the guy that was supposed to have had a big game. They were counting on him in the secondary to come up and make play and tackles you got to go low on Dwyer he's strong good-looking kid. diesel they call him huh well he is he just throws tacklers aside and at 228 he can move came to Georgia Tech was recruited by Paul Johnson to go to Navy but said his eyes lit up when he found out Paul Johnson was coming. overcame that this offense and the power inside you're not seeing defensive linemen make plays for Miami last week they did Greg you're absolutely right Jonathan Dwyer now has run for 128 yards and I'd say the majority of those have come right up the middle again going back to what Randy Shannon told us when you play this style of offense you have to take away the fullback on the dive runs and this was the big run Jonathan Dwyer had outside. Aside from that, though, well, look, it's just been inside, and you see the power, you see the ability to get in open space, and there's the breakaway speed. And, and, and go back to this. Big fun on senior night in Atlanta. A long night for the Canes defense. Watch the leverage. And leverage meaning, you know, the angle of the block. The, the defender has no chance. I mean, that... Josh Gilbert, the guard, diving across there. Scott Blair boots it through. 34-10. Yellow Jackets. They've punted only twice tonight. What are you guys giggling about? <laughs> uh, I just like the way Craig under that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like ridiculous. Look at this guy blocking down. The left guard just drills him. You know, Howard, and, right, let's watch the linebacker. You've got to get linebackers over into his lane. And you get cut off into it. The blocking up front prohibits the linebacker that gets hidden inside from getting to his lane responsibility, and it's an easy touchdown. Lucas Cox doing in the club, and they get 400-yard rushers in this game. The way things are going. Scott Blair boots it. 32 yards, and, you know, Cox has 72 yards rushing. And there's a real chance you could have 400-yard rushers in this game. <laughs> Four. What, what a nightmare for Miami. They go on the road next week. Will not face the option. Final minute here. Miami will head home deflated. The win streak snapped, but again, still in the race here. At NC State, the Jackets finish their ACC campaign at 5-3. and three. They go in and they post that score in the clubhouse, and they have to wait and see what the Cavaliers and the Hokies and the Hurricanes do in their final game, and it will not be sorted out until the final weekend, November 29th. How about 464? That works. I mean, if they hadn't really called it off, if they'd gone full go full bore here, in the second half, left Nesbitt's been there. I mean, it, it, it's scary how many they might have. And remember, Jonathan Dwyer didn't play at all in the second no. half. Either. It's Booker on the keeper. And the senior on senior night in his final home game for Georgia Tech. Get your chance to rip off about a seven-yard gain. It's been pretty much a party here in Atlanta for the guys in the all-white unis. Top rusher in the ACC, Jonathan Dwyer again, just a half, but 128 yards rushing. And for Paul Johnson, a very satisfying win as he turns his focus toward the Georgia Bulldogs. The ACC race, even more convoluted than it was three hours ago. And the Jackets very much in the mix. Sports Center is coming up next. Over on ESPN News, we'll have post-game extra. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Greg, Jesse, and Aaron, Marty Aronoff, our spotter Mike Black, Jack Graham, our producer, and Mike Trump, our director, and our entire crew, I'm Chris Fetter saying so long from Atlanta.